my dear second year students welcome to my class from today onwards i am making a series of classes every day till february the 21st or 22nd i want to make one video per day today this is a small introduction about advanced accounting there are five units my dear students if you concentrate on any three units i am not saying about it is covid pattern or non covid pattern i don't want to comment on that but preparing these three units will give a good marks for you unit number 1 is like partnership there you are going to learn about admission and determinant and death of the partner and unit number 2 is dissolution and insolvency of the partner then unit number 5 is valuation of goodwill and valuation of shares valuation of goodwill and valuation of shares my dear students you know what is a partnership partnership is agreement between two or more uh, parties to do the business jointly by contributing capital सी इसमें दो कम से कम होना द मैक्म नंबर ऑफ पार्टनर्स इज लाइक ट्वेंटी ओके मा इन केस ऑफ बैंकिंग रिलेटेड बिजनेस इट इज ओनली टेन द एग्रीमेंट मेड बिटवीन द पार्टनर्स बिफोर द स्टार्ट द बिजनेस इज नोन एज पार्टनरशिप डीड सो वाट आर द कंटेंट्स ऑफ पार्टनरशिप डीड इज नेम ऑफ द पार्टनर्स एड्रेस ऑफ द पार्टनर्स नेम ऑफ द बिजनेस कैपिटल कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड बाई दैम इंटरेस्ट एंड कैपिटल इंटरेस्ट ऑन ड्रॉइंग्स इफ एनी पार्टनर गिव्स एनी लोन वाट इज द a rate of interest that we are going to give and how the partners are going to share profits and losses everything will be mentioned in the agreement the partnership agreement may be written or oral but it is better if it is a written agreement indian partnership act 1932 deals with uh, partnership business and partnership funds and my dear students there are two kinds of partner capital accounts like fixed capital and fluctuating capital if the capital which is bought in by the uh, partner at the beginning of the year will remain the same that is said to be fixed capital in case of partners capitals are fixed for making all adjustments we have to do partners current accounts so in case of fixed capital we will prepare partners current accounts in case of fluctuating capital you can make capital accounts for making all adjustments we do one profit and loss appropriation account then uh, fixed capital or fluctuating capital we have to see and we have to prepare capital accounts and uh, in this unit only you are going to uh, study about admission and determinant of partner taking a new partner into the business is known as admission so one of the partner retiring from the business is known as retirement of business my dear students the common thing in admission and retirement of partner is revaluation account a revaluation account is said to be a nominal account my dear students here you will debit all expenses and losses and you will credit all incomes profits and gains whatever revaluation profit or loss is there that will be distributed to uh, partners okay in case of admission of partner my dear students the new partner will introduce some extra amount by way of goodwill the goodwill may be created in the books or goodwill may be bought in cash actually see my dear students this is the small introduction about uh, how to prepare and all and unit number 2 is dissolution dissolution means the closing of the business the winding up of the business is known as uh, dissolution of the business in case of dissolution of the firm or, or insolvency of the business we will prepare a realization account realization account and revaluation account is prepared regularly at the time of admission and retirement and all but whereas realization account is prepared only once in the life of the company like uh, at the time of uh, the winding up of the company only we are making realization account my dear students uh, insolvency means if any partner is having more uh, debts then whatever uh, he hold uh, like assets and the ever kind of partner ki liability second asset takune anko ma he said to be insolvent partner whatever amount which is scarce in his capital account is to be borne by remaining partners in their capital ratio which is known as a, a garner versus murray case this is also a one of the important and my dear students uh, you carefully listen important questions i am not writing anywhere i am saying in unit number 1 and unit number 2 in unit number 1 uh, the important question is like partnership deed and the contents of partnership deed in the absence of partnership deed how the partners has to share profits and losses that uh, you need to learn then what is revaluation account and uh, you need to learn about the uh, sacrificing ratio and gaining ratio my dear students uh, when a partner is admitted into the business we calculate uh, sacrificing ratio and when one partner is leaving the firm we calculate uh, like a gaining ratio these two ratios are very important one short answer question you are going to get other than that you are going to get one question on partners capital accounts like fixed capital fluctuating capital and one problem uh, like admission or retirement in most of the cases my dear students we will see admission of partner 
So this is a brief introduction about uh, unit number 1 and unit number 2. In my coming video you will be learning about unit number 5. And you can ask me sir about problems. In my previous videos you will find the questions, answers and problems also. I wish all the best. Do subscribe to my channel at least till your exam. It's a request my dear students. Make a class given by a senior faculty of 25 years of experience. My dear students, thank you.